Hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we have created the new project and set up the database. We have added some systems like GPS, Hero, and Echo Sounder. Now we will try to add some line survey. As explained in the previous video, line creation can be done through a survey manager or from the line planning tool. Now open the line planning tool. The survey manager window will be open. If you create the project from scratch, there is no recent sessions available. Create new session by click new button. Fill the name of the line database. The new file will be created with the .qgf line extension. The created qgf line file is now listed under the line data files the project explorer tree. When the qgf line file is selected in the project explorer tree, the line tools become active. You can add points, lines, polylines, and areas by using the create object button. To create waypoints, press the create object button in the ribbon. Left mouse click in the plan view to create the point. Right mouse click to fill in the add new object dialog. Press OK. The point is saved to the QGF line file. To add a line, press the create object button in the ribbon. Left mouse click in the plan view to create the start point of the line, a second mouse click creates the end point of the line. Right mouse click to fill in the add new object dialog. Press OK. The line is saved to the QGF line file. To add a polyline, press the create object button in the ribbon. Left mouse click in the plan view to create the start point of the polyline. Additional left mouse clicks will create the required line segments to the polyline. Right mouse click to fill in the add new object dialog. Press OK. The polyline is saved to the QGF line file. Now I will use AutoCAD data as an example for line drawing. We will draw according to the actual length and position of the line. We must know the coordinates of the beginning and the end of the line. This can be obtained from the AutoCAD drawing. This is an example of a line survey drawing from AutoCAD. Type ID in AutoCAD to find out the coordinates of the starting end and ending end. Measure the distance between lines. We will need the distance between lines for the offset. Now, go back to the survey manager. Select the line we created earlier, and right click edit lines. Change the starting coordinates of the line and the ending coordinates of the line according to the AutoCAD drawing. Now, the line that has been drawn has the actual length and is in the correct position. Wing lines and cross lines can be created using a line or a polyline as a reference. To create a wing lines, select the line in plan view. The line is selected when it's highlighted. Then press the wing lines button. 
Decide how many wing lines will be created and what the line spacing will be. Determine the naming convention of the lines. You can see the preview by click by show preview option before accept the OK button. You can edit the line name if you find it unsatisfactory. Select edit object, and select lines, then the edit lines window will appear. We can edit the line name or the end and start coordinates here. Creating cross lines on a line. Select the line in plan view. The line is selected when it's highlighted. Then press the cross lines button in the line tools ribbon. Determine the naming convention of the lines. Decide the start and end distance along the line, the interval, the left, and the right length. If you want the cross lines not perpendicular to the selected line you can enter an angle. We will now try to draw the root of the pipeline. You can see that the pipe trajectory is not always straight. We will draw a curved line path. We will draw one line as the center, and will create wing lines and cross lines from it. First we record the coordinates of the starting end, the ending end, the coordinates of the segment when turning in AutoCAD. In the survey manager, draw a polyline with four segments. When finished, edit the polyline by selecting the line, then select edit object. Fill in the initial coordinates, segment coordinates and end coordinates, according to the actual coordinates. To draw a curve, edit the segment coordinates, and fill in the radius as desired to make it look smooth. Now it's time to generate wing lines. Do the same as how to generate wing lines before. Then, generate cross lines. Do the same way to generate cross lines as before. Select the center path to generate cross lines. To make it the same as in the AutoCAD drawing, we have to change the start and end coordinates. Select the appropriate line, then change the coordinates in edit lines. Edit the line name if it does not match what we want. Change the line name as desired. We can change the direction of the trajectory. What was the start of line becomes the end of line. Open the edit lines menu and click reverse. Now. The survey trajectory drawing is similar to the survey drawing from AutoCAD. We can close the survey manager window and check on the online survey map.
Select the properties menu on the navigation display, then select background line. Click the add button. We now have a line survey. Thank you for watching this video until it's finished. Don't forget to click the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel to keep up with my video updates.